horrible. I felt empty. I felt like I had given away. Julie, I've been calling you for three days. You haven't returned my messages. What the heck is wrong with you? Leave me alone. All right, let me guess. It's that time of the month again. You know, why do guys always say that? Hey, let me clue you in on something. Not all of our problems revolve around that. Is there something wrong? I don't want to talk about it. Come on, baby. You know you can tell me anything. I went to the doctor's office a couple weeks ago. You're not pregnant, are you? No. Well, then what is it? They did a pap smear. And they said I have HPV. Oh, uh, Julie, hey. I'm sorry. There's medicine you could take for that, right? Medicine? Maybe you don't understand. I could have this for the rest of my life. I could give this to my husband. I could get cancer from this, David. What exactly is this? It's a sexually transmitted disease. And I got it from you. What? No, you didn't. What? I can't believe you do this to me, Julie. I cannot believe you cheat on me like that. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. You know you're the only one I've ever been with. I'm telling you. I'm clean. I don't have an STD. You had to have gotten it from someone well, else. I know it's from you. No. You don't. If you stand... If you stand in an anthill, how you know which one bit you? David, David, don't touch me. David, don't touch me. 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 Don't me. I never said that. Besides, if I did have something, I'd know about it. Right? 